Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Kim, I went out to the house today and inspected the chimney for you, and I gave it a good level two inspection, which means we also scanned the flue and uh, went in the uh, crawl space and attic to check that those areas out. Let's see, where shall we start? Start. Let's start on the inside. Okay, so we got an open wood burning fireplace. Has a good working top ceiling damper, so you certainly don't need a, a new damper. Uh, as we go up on top, we can see that that top ceiling damper is right here. It's in the open position, and now here you can see it in the closed position. I uh, ran a level across the top of the damper, so the areas that you're measuring now is the very top of the damper to the top of the roof and it is 36 inches which means it's compliant with the modern um, codes and it obviously complied with the uh, codes of the day when the chimney was uh, built and that's really all it needed to do but just to let you know it's exactly 36 inches so it's a non-problem Hey, uh, somebody has tried to fix the crown up here, but it does need to be re-poured, and I've given you a price on doing that. Um, let's look at the flue system. So uh, when we look into the, the, uh, the base of the flue, we're missing a little mortar here. That it would be repaired when the uh, uh, flue system is repaired, and the flue system can be easily repaired. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Every flue joint, uh, or almost everyone, has these little missing mortar areas in it. I uh, scanned the entire chimney, and this is what we came up with. So, uh, would it contain the gases of combustion? It's hard to say. It's an old house. It's had a lot of fires in it. The house is still standing. Uh, but should it be repaired? Well, that's up to you. For maximum safety, absolutely should be repaired. And how that can be repaired is by a simple slip form pull, pulling up, redistributing refractory cement back into these areas. Now, uh, any chimney sweep can handle that for you. Even the other chimney sweep that uh, that has inspected the chimney, if uh, if that's a um, uh, if that's where you want to go with that, they can give you a price on doing that since they're familiar with your your chimney, and that's what I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend tearing, uh, gutting the whole chimney out and putting a whole new liner system in it. That seems pretty dramatic for for missing a little mortar uh, in these flue joints. So uh, fixing it is the way to go. This is what a slip form would look like. I would uh, uh, go back to the other company and tell them what you would like an estimate on and see if they would be willing to furnish that for you. I gave you a price, uh, a fair market price on your uh, inspection report on what that should cost you. Up in the attic, there is no part of this chimney that is uh, in the attic. So that's that. And down in the crawl space, we just uh, crawled up underneath there and took some pictures up underneath the hearth extension. Folks have questions for me, give me a call at 704-526-6348. You can email me at Chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.